everybody. So today's vlog is going to be a little bit more serious. Um, I'm going to talk about kind of a sensitive aspect of my life and something that's probably going to be kind of controversial. So, you know, if you are against what I'm going to be talking about, you don't need to leave your comments below. I don't care about that. This is for people who need the support and the help and the tips about being gay. So that's what I'm discussing today. Yes, I am gay. Um, I guess you considered me I'm a lesbian because I'm married to a girl. I've talked about Jenna, my wife, in many videos. Um, we've been married almost four years now, and I love our life. You know, that's just, that's how it is. So today I'm going to kind of talk about some of the experiences of hate that I've had, um, that, you know, I've seen, that I've directly had against me, and how I've dealt with those and you know what kind of tips I can give you for learning how to deal with people spewing hate at you or just showing ignorance you know towards you so first I'm going to talk about some of the experiences that I've had um, the first one that I can remember is it was years ago before Jenna and I were married so what five six years ago um, we were coming back from a trip I can't remember where we had went but we were on the highway coming back and we had to stop and get gas at a gas station and we were really like way out in the country somewhere um, and we stopped at this little tiny gas station and Jenna was pumping gas I believe and I think I was just standing next to her I don't remember if we were holding hands or something I can't remember and I remember these two guys were driving in a truck and as they left I hear them scream hey carpet muncher and to be honest, I didn't even know what they meant by that, but the way that they said it, I could tell that they were saying something derogatory towards us, you know? And so I remember Jenna said, well, wait, what's going on? Because my face looked really confused when they said that. Like, I was kind of in shock, and she's deaf, and she didn't hear what they said. And so I had to tell her what they said, and I didn't even know what it meant, but I knew it was something mean. And I remember she explained to me, you know, what that word means, and I kind of just, like, was kind of sad at first, like, oh, I, I didn't even know what to do at that point. You know, um, at that point, I, I don't think I had come out as gay for that long, and I didn't come out until I was in college, so I wasn't, you know, I didn't come out in high school or anything. And I think at that point, Jenna just said, you know, just screw it. They're just, you know, they're just DBs and don't worry about it, you know. So I didn't, you know. I just, I'm like, okay, whatever, no big deal. And, um, you know, after that, luckily, most of the people that I deal with are very accepting of it. They don't have any issue with it, you know, with me and Jenna. Even my friends that you know, don't believe that, you know, even my friends that believe are Christian, that believe being gay is a sin, they don't really, like, take it out on me, you know? They just, they're my friends, and that's that. Um, I remember, and this is, this is kind of personal, but I remember, you know, a few years ago, Jenna and I were thinking about, you know, possibly having kids, and we just, you know, haven't gotten around to it, but I was watching, I remember at that time, I was watching a video, and I don't remember why... I watched it, but it was about this woman, and she was pregnant, and she was, she turned on her laptop, and she looked at the computer, and there was some sort of, like, article or something she had posted about, like, oh, I'm pregnant, and blah, 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 and, you know, she was a lesbian, and someone had posted, oh, I think it was, like, some article talking about how gay people shouldn't, um, have babies, and how it's so horrible, and blah, 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 and in the video, she just she started crying and then I think she like she went upstairs and she was in the bathtub and she was just sobbing you know, like holding her stomach and it was just like really emotional and then you see her like dunk herself under the water and I assume she was trying to kill herself um and then her girlfriend or wife I don't know how they figured that in like comes home and like looks at the computer and sees you know saw what it said and she like rushes upstairs and pulls her out of the water and I remember the first time I saw that I bald like I just I totally bald I just I felt like it makes you feel so awful inside that someone could even say something like that you know I mean I guess I understand if people you know being gay is a sin or whatever 
you know, whatever you believe, but to just spew hate and say you can't be a good parent, that, you know, you're a horrible person when you don't even know that person, it just, it sometimes it really, it got to me, you know, and I remember I was just bawling and she was like, what's wrong, what's going on? And I had to, you know, explain to her about that and, you know, I think just talking with her and, you know, reassuring with my friends, you know, that people that say things like that, you know, they just, a lot of times they're ignorant and they don't know and there's not much you can do to change someone's opinion. So the best thing that you can do is just be confident in yourself. And like I said, you know, have support for, you know, have support around you. So if you do experience something like that, or somebody, you know, screams derogatory words at you or any sort of, you know, thing like that, you have someone to talk with about, somebody to talk to about it if it gets to you. But you know, and in the end, you just have to know that you are a good person, and no matter what somebody says, don't let it get to you. The last thing that I want to talk about is something recently, if you watch our daily vlogs, um, you'll, we talked about this, that I think this is one of the most recent times that I, <laughs> I never really felt like I would call it discrimination. Like, I've had people say, like, bad things, or I've seen, like, things on the internet talking about gay people and how bad they are, and, um... You know, I've, I have I went out of the country, and where I went, they, being gay is like you could get killed there. So I had to hide that I was gay the whole time and lie to people, and it, it's kind of a lot of work, to be totally honest. Like, to remember not to say my wife, or be like, oh, I miss Jenna, or you know, just anything like that. I have to be really careful about it, but um, the most recent time that I went through it was um, Jenna was trying to get a passport. So she needed a birth certificate. So um, she only had a birth certificate that was like a copy. So she didn't have one with like the raised seal on it. And that's what she needed for a passport. So I remember she had to go off to school. So I said, well, I'll call and order it for you so we can get the ball rolling. And so the state that I called where she was born, um, you can't get married there. You can't have a same-sex marriage. But recently, like... Mm, few months ago they passed a law saying that you have to recognize out-of-state same-sex marriages and we were married in a state that is legal so they have to accept it so I remember I called the place where you get the birth certificates and the lady's like well you know what's the relation I said well I'm her wife and she's like okay fine she got all my information my social security number everything we went through the whole thing and then I ordered it she's like it's gonna take so and so amount of days great wonderful told Jenna it's all good I got it ordered and then I was like 9 in the morning and then I went to work and I got a call like I got a, a voicemail because I never answered my phone and it's like this is so and so from the birth certificate place whatever um and, and there's a problem with the uh, order I need you to call me so I figured that maybe I'd like given the wrong credit card number and it didn't go through properly or I don't know something like that or the wrong address or something so I call the lady back and she's like I'm like hi this is Jill um, I'm calling about you know um, the birth certificate for Jenna and she goes the first thing out of her mouth and the way she said it was just very she had a lot of sass let's call it you know she goes oh well what is your relationship and I was like I'm her wife and then she said we don't recognize that here with that horrible attitude at it and like I was on my break at work so it's not really good to get upset and then I have to go back and like put a smile on my face and keep interpreting um and I was like what what are you talking about and she goes we don't recognize that here and I was like yeah, you do. Like, you just, you, I, didn't you guys just pass a law saying that you have to register? She goes, no. No, 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 no. Like, over repetitively said it. And at that point, like, I mean, I, I started, like, boiling inside. I just, I felt so, like, what are you talking, like, how can you, how can you say that to me? Like, we are married. I just want to order the damn certificate. Let me get it. Like, and so I was like, you know what? Fine. Jenna can call herself. She will call you. She will take care of it. And I, I just was like, okay, this is where I'm going to have to use the support of Jenna, that she's going to have to call and deal with it. And this is another tip that I have for dealing with hate. Know your laws, because 
Jenna knew when the law passed. She had she looked on the internet on that state's website of when it passed, and she had the exact name of the law, everything like that. So she called back. Um, I wasn't there, but she told me that she called back to the same lady because I gave her her phone number, and she informed her. She's like, "Hey, this is Jenna. Um, my wife called, and apparently there's an issue with her trying to get the birth certificate." And the lady said, yeah, we don't recognize that here. And she said, no, I'm sorry, you guys passed a law literally a few weeks ago saying that you have to recognize out-of-state same-sex marriages. And the lady's like, no, no, we don't do that here. No, we don't. And Jenna's like, yes, you do. You can look online. Here's the website. Check it for yourself. The lady's like, okay, fine, fine, fine. Well, she ended up, she said she ended up going, like, to her supervisor and then the supervisor transferred her to someone above her or him and then it finally it got up to like I had a deputy of somebody of something like really high up and finally because she called and she's like well is this just discrimination is that is that what you're trying to do to us because there is a law in there and you can see it for yourself it's right there and so the lady's like you know what fine we'll go ahead we'll do it nope I'm sorry no we're not discriminating blah 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 and even though, you know, so like Jenna, the one important thing that she did is she kept her calm the entire time. You know, she was she was very upset and she was stern, but she wasn't just like, well, you have to do it because because that's not going to get you anywhere with people. It's really important that you know your facts, you're calm about what you're doing, don't blow up at people because all that's going to show them is that you're a bad person and it's just going to feed into their stereotype that gay people are bad. It's not going to do you any good. Long story short, I got a call back from the original lady, and she said we can go through with it, and we got it. So, so I mean, the moral of this whole spiel I was just yapping about is, you know, it can be a really tough road, and, you know, I'm not going to discuss about everything that I've gone through, um, the hardships that I've had, but I've gone through some pretty hard times, you know, living as a gay person, you know, being gay, and, um... It just, it's really important that you get some support from somebody. If you don't have anybody, go to a counselor, call a hotline, do something because you need to know that you are okay as a person, you're a good person, and you should not let other people tell you you're a bad person and you're doing something wrong when you're just being who you are. I hope this has been um, helpful to you guys. I'm going to have links below of some hotlines you can call if you're having a hard time. You know, if you're feeling suicidal due to the hate that you're getting, please call somebody. Please call someone. Do not let them do that to you. Do not take your life because somebody else is stupid. It's not worth it. Uh, call the hotline, the ones that I leave below. If you want to leave me a comment below, you want to talk to me, send me a message. Go ahead, YouTube me a message. Whatever you need to do, I'm here for you guys. I know what it's like, and I hope we can kind of gather around and support each other in this ordeal sometimes it can be. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, click the like button, and if you want to keep hearing about other topics from me, or you like my beauty videos, or you want to learn sign language, click the subscribe button, and we can do more talky vlogs like this. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and you've learned a little something today, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everybody.